January 25th, 1799, the first U.S. patent for a seating machine is granted to Ellicom Spooner of Vermont. 1825, the first U.S. Engineering College opens Rensselaer Polytechnic in Troy, New York. 1840, American Naval Expedition under Charles Wilkes is the first to identify Antarctica as a new continent. 1858, Felix Mendelssohn's Wedding March is first played at the wedding of Queen Victoria's daughter, Princess Victoria, to the Crown Prince of Prussia. 1870, the first patent for a soda fountain is granted to Gustavus Dows. 1919, the League of Nations is founded. It is the predecessor of the United Nations and the first international organization devoted to maintaining world peace. 1924, the Winter Olympics begin. The first Olympic Winter Games were held in Chamonix, France. 1937, NBC Radio presented the first broadcast of The Guiding Light. The show remained on radio until 1956 and began on CBS TV in 1952. It would run episodes daily until 2009. It is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the third longest running TV show in history, running 19 years on the radio and 57 years on television. 1939, the first nuclear fission experiment, splitting of a uranium atom in the United States, takes place in a basement in the, at a Columbia University by a team including Enrico Fermi. 1947, the first arcade game is patented. Thomas Goldsmith's cathode ray tube amusement device is considered the ancestor of video games. 1960, Wilt Chamberlain scores 58 points, the most ever by an NBA rookie, as Philadelphia Warriors beat the Detroit Pistons 127-17 in Pennsylvania. 1961, Walt Disney's animated film 101 Dalmatians, based on the novel by Dodie Smith and directed by Clyde Geronimi and Hamilton Lusk, is released in the United States. 1977, the world's first solar power plant is opened. The solar furnace in Odilio, France, was the first power plant providing alternative energy. 2004, NASA's Opportunity rover lands on the surface of Mars. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, January 25th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.